Hey y'all, Tom, ND3N here. I was looking around my shack the other day and came to the realization that there are a whole lot of cables needed to put your rigs on the air. There's coax to connect to your antenna, power cables to connect to your power supply, USB cables to connect to your computer, you got your mic cables, cables for your CW paddles, video monitor cables, and that list goes on. Now, if you have multiple radios, then the number of cables simply multiply along with the chaos that goes along with that. One set of cables that you can easily get rid of is for your headphones. I'll show you how in this video. Now, usually I ask for your comments at this point, but instead, I'm just going to ask you a question and hope you leave me a note. Which would you prefer to watch, Star Wars or Star Trek? There are no other options. Now, the first thing that you're going to need is a set of headphones. The ones that I'm using for this particular demonstration are these. They're JBL, very comfortable, nice padding, and fully Bluetooth. No wires attached here. Another thing you're going to need is a Bluetooth adapter. This will plug straight into here where it says phones. I'm not going to plug it in yet because we're going to talk about pairing next. Because I've already paired the other headset I was showing you, I've got this headset. The same principle of pairing applies for everything. You want to start with your headset turned off. I'm going to press and then I'm going to hold the Bluetooth button here and it's going to come up and you'll see it flashing red and blue. I will just set that there and we're going to come here. We're going to put this in the TX mode. You can set it to receive as well, but you put it in the TX mode. I'm going to come and I'm going to press and hold the Bluetooth. So you see that's flashing red and blue. And when those flashing goes off, you are paired to this headset and you see that little green button? That's indicating that I'm on channel one. It does have two channels and you can change that. It's kind of beyond the scope of this video, but two channels, transmit and receive, and we are paired. I did mention that this uses a 1 8 inch tip ring sleeve, and that's good for going into a 1 8 inch port. However, many radios use the quarter inch. In that case, you're going to need an adapter. I don't happen to have an adapter for this one, so I jury rigged one. And you can see it's, I've got the 1 8 here, and I've got the 1 quarter on this side. This would go into my Yaesu FTDX 101 MP or my ICOM IC7610. But again, showing you that is beyond the scope of this. You'll have to pick up an appropriate adapter. For some of them, you'll want a tip ring sleeve. For others, you'll want just the tip sleeve. Look in your owner's manual if you have a quarter inch and see which one is appropriate for you. So I've got my headset on. I've got my Bluetooth adapter in. Everything is synced up and we've got a conversation happening there. So I'm going to set this down right here and I'm going to use my lavalier microphone and just place it in the left side. And in the right side. So that's showing you the demo on how this works. Thanks for watching. Please remember to like, share, and comment. And remember about answering the Star Wars or Star Trek question. 73 until the next hey As always, I'm Tom, ND3N, and I'm always at your service. Furthermore, I am out.